the heck? There's a door? Hello, door. Why is a zombie breaking you down? Where are you at? Did I bring a pickaxe? Brought a hammer. That's close enough. Is there something down here? I hear spiders. I hear skeletons and I see... Oh, that's lovely. Okay, so let's go away for a moment. There's something drinking potions. Okay, we're gonna go over here. And I need torches. I wasn't expecting to wander around and get any dungeons in the way. Let's see. I don't actually have a lot of coal. And I'm a bit too far away to do anything worthwhile. So let's grab... There's a cave here. Ow, ow. Oh, this is the quicksand area. Yeah, well. I'm going to convert this into my temporary crafting area. Actually, let's get a bunch of furnaces. Furnaces aren't too hard to get. Yay. Okay, you are going to convert into charcoal for me. Then I have a bunch of wood in here. It's a nice thing about deforesting an area. If you need wood, you've got it. And buy it. I mean all of it. We're going to turn all of this into charcoal? I don't think all of it. Uh, maybe a couple stacks of it in the charcoal? Oop. Like, let's put in a quarter of a stack in each one. That should be enough. Smelt, my furnaces! Smelt! And we end up with torches. Let's go explore a dungeon. I'm assuming it's a dungeon. Because if it's not a dungeon, then why is there cobblestone and monsters and all kinds of freaking out? Plus a door. It can't be a dungeon, anything but a dungeon, because it's a door. Ew, there's a mushroom in here. I kind of wish I brought a pickaxe with me now. It's hard to get around with just a hammer. Why is there mushrooms in here? Hi! Oh. What is... What? Is it like a ghost? It is a ghost. Kill the ghost! Wah! Ugh. And there's a... What is that? What? You know what? Close the door. There's nasty things out there. And I need building blocks. Cobblestone should work as a building block. Can I get out of here? It's a good idea to always have an escape route when you do things like these. Oh, no. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, we need to stop the zombies from banging on the doors. I'm hoping I can get some armor in here, too. Oh, you've got a lot of health. You make no noise. Stop that! Ow! Stop it, zombie! Ah! There's so many zombies! Ah! Ah! Arr. Okay. Zombie? Zombie? Oh, zombie spawner. Well, that explains everything. Gunpowder, wheat. I'm actually gonna throw pretty much everything I have into this bag. Yeah. Now I can walk around with impunity. Where did you come from? Oh! I'm ignoring the zombie spawner, too. And I don't really want to break them. I'll take the paintings with me. I want to save some spawners for later. Ooh, arrows and leather. And cake. Cake. Mmm, tasty cake. Healing potion. I do like healing potions. Why don't these stack? They don't stack at all. Okay. What's up with that? I don't know. Ow. I thought that was supposed to stack up to... 16 or so. There's another one of those things. Are you a mermaid? I think it's a mermaid. What is the other thing? It's got a bow. Ow! Oh man, that hurt. Ah! I really need some armor. Okay, let's drink this. You don't really heal a whole lot. Some of the assumptions when changing from health to... Whoa! That's why you don't Okay. 
One of these is good. One of these is bad. Ow! 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 Whack! 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 Can't see! Can't hit! There we go. Ah, okay. We're good. I'm gonna drink another one of these lovely healing potions. Oops. Instead of the cruddy ones. Yeah. Need a bit of food. Hmm. Diamond armor. Hey, can you give me your things? Give me that. Whack, whack, whackity whack, 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 and whack. No, get back here. Don't, don't do that. Uh oh, I'm gonna get hit. Something's killing me. Diamond. I like diamonds. Ah. Arr. Here, hit each other. Yeah, yeah, do that. Here we go. Out, out. Run! 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 Hide! Healing potion! There we go. Hey! Bad skeleton! There's a ghost! Not again! And that thing's creepy. Ah. Nope. 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 And these things are everywhere. Ow! Loud too. Ah. Oh, there's things laying around. That's no good. I have successfully retrieved things. Would you stop banging on doors? Ow. Oh. Getting really low on health again. Need some food. Yeah, it's at this point where I can sit here, and I can wait, I can regenerate a bit, or I can just eat some food and get right back into it. I'm still not certain how I feel about this. I kind of feel that maybe food should be nerfed a bit, if it's going to be like this. Oh, holy cow! I want to give healing potions a reason to live, a reason to be here. And I suppose you could make regeneration potions, which would work really well in something like this. Stop it! Gah! Gah. Okay. No? Why is there a... I don't even know. I don't know what I hit. There's a lot of monsters in there. Nope. Oh, no. You can open the door yourself. Oh, I'm screwed. I'm dead. I'm... Ah, run. Ah. Can I do something with this windshield? Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if that blocks damage. If it reflects any. There is one thing I'm noticing, with the healing going directly in the hearts, it seems to give less than the way it was in vanilla. Like, it wasn't quite one to one before, it was maybe two to one, now it's one to one, and... Huh. Plus I have a lot of health to begin with. Uh, oh, chest. Gunpowder. Hello, hello. Zombie. Skeleton. At least they aren't knocking on doors anymore. Yeah, it looks like I have just about cleared out the whole place. Nope, nope. Get the last of this. But you. I open the door, you close it, and we all just get along because whack. Her. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that. Cake. Goodbye, cake. <laughs> cake used to be this amazing food that you could get anywhere you wanted and you just regenerate so fast by eating cake. There we go. Light it up. I 
think I've just about cleared out this dungeon now. Got some food. Food is a really nice reward. I mean, it's not so nice when you just have to grind it, but like this. Food is like, oh, that is good stuff. Okay, I'm going to grab the rest of the items that are in here. I'll go back to the surface and I'll collect them all in one spot. As well as get rid of the rest of those skeletons. Oh, empty room. I think I've picked this place clean now. I've knocked out a lot of the walls just so I could see what was going on. There appears to be seven, eight spawners right here. Is there anything behind this wall? No. Anywhere that's got stone behind it is not part of the dungeon. Yeah, just a whole bunch of spawners that are right here. Not a bad place to set up a grinder. I didn't collect a whole lot of things from the dungeon. Everything fits in this double chest right here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Cobblestone, food, beds. So I think I'm just going to leave that right there for now. It's not too far away from my base. Actually, I have a golden bag of holding. Let's see what I can shove in there. Oh. Ah, uh, let's go grab another golden bag of holding and see what I can shove in that one instead. Now, let's clear out some of these. I did notice that while I was running around in the dungeon, using food was sort of like a win button. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be. In beta and alpha, the, the food used to be instantaneous. You'd just eat one beast at a time, but it would be unstackable, which kind of evened out. You could only bring so much food with you over your whole inventory, and, well, it also used to be hard to get. You could use it as a strategic element. A lot of the old super hostile maps used to have food strategically placed to try and force the player to either play better or play the way that Vex wanted you to. And since Beta 1.8, with the addition of the hunger system, that all went away, and hunger has just developed over time. What I'm thinking of doing right now is I'm thinking of making food. You know, it still heals you, but the maximum it could possibly heal you is one heart. So it's not going to be all that useful in the middle of battle. I mean, two hearts from this thing is already kind of low. One heart is going to be not so good. However, you will be able to eat it fast enough that just walking around and taking a bit of damage... No, can't take damage. Just taking a little bit of damage from just doing things is going to be okay. And you could sit here and go into your base and you could go, Om nom nom, all the berries. In fact, berries are a little bit too common. I might have to get rid of those. What I'm going to do instead is... I have these items that give health. They already give health. Uh, it was made for when regeneration was completely turned off in a previous version of this pack. And they... What they do is they take a long time to charge up. Here, I can actually show this. I'm at full health. I'm going to cheat for a bit. I need to demonstrate. So this is a prayer to Notch, and it's ready to pray. Let's grab another one, just for good measure. Let us go take a bit of damage. Not just a little bit. In fact, these are actually time sensitive, so right now it's going to give me very, very little. Now, I can't I take damage. The one time I want to hurt myself, I just can't. Wait, 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 I got an idea. We got Sugar cane over here. Give me this. I'm gonna make punchy sticks out of you. Yes. Crafting. I just go rub myself on some cactus. Yeah, that'll do. Punchy sticks. Ah, ow, ow, ow! That actually hurt. 
it hurt quite a bit. Okay, so I've got this prayer, and to use it, you have to chant the prayer. I call upon the hallowed might of the bearded one who created this world and gave us the sun, the dirt, and creepers. Okay, you don't actually have to chant that, but you see how long it took to charge up? It's not something you can just use. And then... gives me regeneration for a little bit. That one only gave me half a heart. I, I might have to buff these if I do this. But if you look at this again, it has eight minutes before you can use it again. You can only use it once per... day. And in this particular case, they're best used at midday and kind of useless otherwise. What I'd like is some more mechanics like that. Maybe give the food its purpose, where I'm just walking around and... You know, I actually do rub myself against some cactus. Ow! Ow! You have to regenerate. It gives me a heart, so I can eat a bit. You go, you carry around food around in your base, so you can do that. But what you do is you work up to the ability to use these. And this might be more or less permanent. Long cooldowns... Maybe you have multiple of them, so you've only got this, and these aren't stackable. It's a really interesting idea. It's a different way to balance the game than the way it's taken. And it's something that I want to look at. Uh, let's go empty out that dungeon and put it in my chest. Hunger has been restored. It also looks like it's time for a harvest. I'm a fan of... Big projects like this, big areas, and I like being able to put them up quickly and take them down. And I really like having farms where you just go harvest it yourself. And you don't you only need to get the things every once in a while. Like this. With the scythe you can actually knock off sugar cane all around. Like I can just hit up here and it knocks off in a three by three area. Makes it sort of easy to pick up. But these things are all laying around, so we grab the Marissa hat, and voila! That's why I haven't automated this at all this time. I'm just going to come along here and whack! Whackity whack! Oopsie! Looks like there's a potential problem with my thing. I have to aim at the top, and I thought I could just grab one layer at a time, go for like... So, just aim right here. But it appears when I do that, I hit whatever's at my feet, too. So that isn't going to work. And it, it'll just take me a little bit longer, because I'll have to go through each line individually and... that. Ah, ah. Well done. The scythe didn't work out at all I wanted, but the hat helped quite a bit. And I got plenty of sugar gain. I mean, I've got a whole thing of a tia, and a whole lot more in here. I had so much that I had to put it in my golden bag of holding. And that may be enough. But I really don't think it is. Because I still have to feed all the maids, and then I need to put up even more maids, and hey, did I miss some? I missed some, and there's a hole missing here. My farming techniques need some work. Okay, well, I'm gonna go distribute this to the maids. Give them all a little bit of sugar. I want to give them all at least two stacks. Yeah, which means lots of crafting. So the maids have all the sugar now. Each one has at least two stacks. Looks like you've already eaten some. Ah, uh, dang it. You are never going to be satisfied, are you? Nope, never. Uh, in retrospect, this particular farm over here has a bunch of sugarcane on it. And this one has a bunch of berries. And I probably should have just made this one into a wheat farm because of how many berries it has, or how much food I'm going to need, or... Uh, hey! I can make sugarcane farms pretty much anywhere out of anything, and that is not enough. That's the problem. Where's my capsules? Also, the farm's in a really bad spot. I'm going to move it to somewhere better. And this is going to be a really good way to harvest all of the sugar cane on here, right? Poof. Okay. Uh, sugar cane... Where am I going to put you? I'm getting low on food. I mean, I have a bit of food in my chest, but I don't have any prepared food, no cooked food. 
Uh, I don't think I want it right there. Actually, I should have got my excavator so I could clear out an area for it. These capsules keep eating blocks, and I really wish they didn't. Let us make them better. Okay, we got an excavator. Desert trimmer. So I'll trim the desert back to where it should be. I think I'm going to bury this one two blocks in the ground, actually. So it comes up right about here. That way the water is at this level. And I need a block to put it on. It's got lots of sand. Jump on here and boom. Perfect. Now you're buried in the ground. I'm going to need the capsule. I'm going to also need to hoe the thing. Give me that back. Give me this. Please give me it back. Come on. Thank you. You're a really hard object. And I made a hoe. Bees. Got bees. I made a hoe just because I didn't have a manoc. Whoa. This what? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, that must be for rice. I'm not farming rice right now. No, that's kind of a problem. Hoeing grass or dirt. Actually it's hoeing farmland turns it into not farmland. Rice land? I wonder if I can plant seeds on here. That would be a no. That's really sad. I guess I'll have to break this and re-pick it up. And over here? It's getting nighttime too. Okay, this should be enough seeds for a while. It's not a bad looking farm though. Yeah, I'll take this and that. I think instead of the lily pads, I'm going to put some slabs over this. I want some torches here so these grow in the middle of the night. I will come back to you. I want to make more plots like this. Just have a whole bunch of them. Daytime, please come to me. Don't mind me, just hanging up my zombie flesh to dry. There's just something about a bunch of furnaces burning that a really fast furnace just doesn't do. It appears that I wasn't actually low on food. It's that I was low on ready-to-use food. I mean, I could have eaten zombie flesh forever, but zombie flesh isn't the best thing to eat, especially when zombie jerky does not give me any hunger debuffs. Besides, I had lots and lots of wheat laying around from the dungeons. I just thought that I'd grab all this and see how much food I had at the end. I have a whole lot more in the chest as well. So, I think that's enough for one day. I've had quite a bit of fun. I have more sugarcane to harvest, apparently. Which means there's actually enough to support the maids this time. Maybe. Yeah. yeah I think this is good. I have food, I have sugarcane, I have storage, I have crafting. I have a house. House hasn't had much done to it, but I do have a house. And I have a blood altar. Which we're going to use pretty soon. And by pretty soon, I mean next time. So until then, thank you all for watching. And I like my food all over the place. It adds a nice touch to the floor where I just make a ring of power. Food is power. Give me power. Give me more power.